He's going in the back. You can you can be there. That's fine. Good morning, guys. It's 11:40, and I am about to go get some Cali coffee. And I thought I'd bring Goldie with me. Come here. They love her there because she's just a little floof ball, and she's gonna get a cute little pup cup. I would bring Bailey, but he is just a pure ball of anxiety, and whenever he's in the car, he just cries and. I don't think he has a fun time. I think he would rather have FOMO and like be upset at the house than actually be in the car. But I'm gonna get Goldie her pup cup. Oh, she's ready. She's ready to go. She was frenzy last time, but I guess she didn't like that. There's a human in there. She's. <laughs> I brought her out to the car. She was just like trying to get in. She do. She's a coffee girl. So it's just a mommy daughter date today, and we're gonna go get our coffees like some girlies, you know. I wish that Goldie was next to me because I love my little passenger princess, but I guess not. Look at her. She's just happy to be here. <laughs> I think she just loves to be included. I think she's just happy to be here. Hello. Oh, so fluffy. <laughs> Can I get a large Beverly? Can I get a pup cup? For my yeah. <laughs> so I just got a Beverly. I was supposed to ask for oat milk and sugar free and then it's completely slipped in my mind. But then Goldie has her pup cup. I was giving her a little bit and then there were people behind me so I didn't want to hold anybody up but i swear every time she goes she is the star of the show one of the girls said that she thinks she took a picture of goldie before and they just love how goldie sits like a little person which i agree look at her she's just there has to be a zipper like somewhere in there there's a person in that suit i just it, there has to be she just like the person just plays dumb like oh woof when we go home i'm gonna make sure to give her her pup cup maybe i'll give bailey a little bit of it if he's good but he usually is very stingy with her, so she should be stingy with him right back. Hey guys, so it's 2.20 and my friend Soul is on her way and we're gonna go thrifting because we ended up getting the same serving job at this other place, not my usual place. So we have orientation the same day, same time, and we're gonna look for part of the uniform because we have to find like cargo pants. I said to her, I was like, girl, honestly, when it's for a job, I don't bother getting anything new because it gets messed up, especially if it's like restaurant industry and stuff like that. Hopefully, I find something because I really need it. But I'm excited because I haven't been thrifting since I've been back and that's usually my thing. She should be here any minute. Hey! Oh. <laughs> Don't show my dirty car! Oh, it smells like nails in here. Yeah! <laughs> Medium? Wait, Jesus is coming. <laughs> How do we prop this? This is the biggest struggle of it all. So we just got soaked. <laughs> Can you tell? It started pouring like crazy. Soul didn't even get anything out of it. <laughs> like, I got these khakis. Did I try them on? No. I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope they fit because also like it's only gonna be training right now. If I like the job and I feel like I'm gonna stay there a long time, then I'll good, invest. Good amount, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You wanna go to Walmart <laughs> in these conditions? We can see. Okay. Look, literally look how foul. No, literally, it's so bad. No, it doesn't look as bad. <laughs> but I'm, I promise you, like, look at my car. <laughs> look at my door. You know what's so funny too? I never have an umbrella with me. I always have it in my trunk. Oh, like, really? What? What? What is the point? What's the point? Oh no, look at Lewis. <gasps> Lewis, Lewis is, soaked. is soaking wet. <laughs> Lewis, I'm sorry. Sorry, Lou. Lewis has been getting mistreated. He was left out in the sun. Oh, so uh, who did that? Me. Oh, mm -hmm. girl. Oh, look, she has an umbrella. Who? The lady over there just oh. See, I could never. What are the crumble papers? <laughs> Ooh, let's go. Bro, I need to start behaving. <laughs> Why? <laughs> My health. Oh, oh yeah, that looks really good. Right? Yeah. You know what really hurts? What? Like hitting this and just seeing the calories this, uh, perfectly. See? No, that's preserving. No. You're lying. <laughs> I swear. How? 840 calories for the whole what? cookie. <laughs> what? If we're in that plaza, Marshall's <coughs> definitely has. Okay, let's go. Or a TJ Maxx or anything. Yeah. Don't take me to TJ, I'll splurge. I, I, <laughs> I can't control TJ. myself. We already ate the cookie, but it's so good. Oh. This is so good. <laughs> I got sidetracked talking. I wonder how much of this is actually gonna be left. <laughs> 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 
Hey guys, so I just got home and Logan says he's starving. So I guess we could do something about that. Can Pipples come with us? So it's nine o'clock right now and I was in bed and being lazy and then I was like, why don't I just do self-care night right now? Logan went to play pool because it's one of his friend's birthdays and he asked me if I wanted to go, but I was just like, you know what? I should get some things done. I don't really know the guy that well, so I was like, I'll stay home today. I think I'm just gonna do a hair mask, tone my hair, and do some teeth whitening and maybe do my brows. Um, before I do my teeth whitening strips, I usually brush them. They say not to. So be it. Like, it is what it is. Um, so I'm just gonna brush them, but without toothpaste, because I'm sure that's like the main reason they say not to do it. I'm gonna do these. I usually catch myself doing this, like, a good amount, just because I drink coffee. I'm gonna put a timer for, even though it says 30 minutes, 40. I'm gonna use this hair mask. I don't know if I need my hair to be wet before. Oh, it says to do it after shampoo and conditioner. No. No, that's okay. I'm definitely going to just let this soak for a good amount of time because I'm going to be doing the whitening strips anyway, so might as well just chill in my room, get some things done while this is soaking. Sometimes I debate, like, oh, like, do I want to keep the blonde? Then I think about all the damage, and I'm just like, I've been dyeing my hair for a while, and I should probably give my hair a little bit of a break because I like my natural color. I just like having, like, contrast, which is why I did the highlights, but then I had so many highlights that... You couldn't even tell that it was highlights anymore. It just looked like I dyed my land. So then I look at these things and I'm like, oh, that looks so good. And I'm like, no, let me not damage. I can always give it a break and re-dye it. But I cut my hair and that was a good first step because I keep noticing that no matter how much I cut my hair, there's more split ends because of the damage. So I just need to relax a little bit. Okay, so while this is soaking, I'm going to go to the room. I have some laundry I have to do. Um, I think I'm gonna clean up in there a little bit and then I'm gonna shower and I'll do the purple shampoo when I'm in the shower. I'm just here with Bailey, surprisingly. He actually wants to hang out and there isn't food around. Bailey's basically the moody teenage son that is just too busy doing other things to hang out with his mom. So I'm really happy that he's come around and wants to hang out with me right now. I'm honored. I don't know what it is. He'll just start <laughs> doing this on a bed. But yeah, I'm just gonna watch the show and watch Bailey. Do that. Just babysitting him. because it was very much needed literally my chiropractor was like your spine was messed up in all three categories the neck the like pelvis area and then the back and i was like i figured today i work at 4 30 so i'm just gonna be at home in between i'm pretty sure i made my coffee i also just dropped one of my summer classes i'm just gonna be on pinterest i think for a little bit getting some room inspo for the next house if you guys have any cute ideas send them over nothing girly i like the minimal vibe and i'll just have the decoration give it character so i got back from work probably an hour ago and i ate a little bit and then logan came home and now he's now he's being a little lazy i love just like knowing that i'm one step closer to being done with the training but me and logan are just chilling here and we're gonna go to sleep in a little bit, we're just gonna watch some TV for right now. I just wanted to show you guys her enjoying her food that I made for her. Hey guys, so today is a two job kind of work day. Basically, I got a job offer from this other restaurant and I was like, you know what, like I'm gonna give it a shot. I can always work two days there and two days at the place I'm already working at. So, and they're different vibes. Like one's Cuban and the other one's a sports bar grill kind of thing. Today is orientation at one o'clock and Sol, my friend, is gonna be there too. So it's gonna be really fun because we're gonna be working together. But hopefully the orientation isn't too long because I work at the Cuban restaurant at 4 30 so i really wish that i could have done a little starbucks or cali coffee kind of run today but 
I behaved and I made my coffee at home and it just didn't hit the same. I guess that's just how that goes. But today is literally just a work day because by the time I'm done with my night shift, it's gonna be what, like 9.30ish? So that's just gonna be this whole day. But I'll see you guys a little bit later. Wish me some luck. So it's been a few hours. I just got done with orientation. Sol is still in there, but I said that I have to go to work. So he let me just go right away once everything was done. But orientation was good. It looks really cute at this place. I think it's gonna be really fun being able to work with a friend too. That's definitely gonna make things more entertaining. I'm gonna head to work now and get some food in my system and some coffee in my system. So it's 11.50 right now. My stomach is a little bit questionable from earlier. I don't know what happened. Me and Logan hung out when I got home. Logan ended up driving my car home because <laughs> I wasn't feeling good. And we we're just hanging out. He left, he's hanging out with his friend. Apart from that, literally not much is happening. I'm just being a lazy gal. The idea of eating anything is making me want to throw up. Also last night, Logan and I watched The Evil Dead Rise and that was one of the goriest movies I've ever seen in my life. I don't know what they were doing. I don't know what the need was for all of that gore, but if you're into that, go ahead and watch it. I don't know if it was like super scary, but it was gross. So we watched it at home and then I was scared to have my feet go off the bed. I really want to go to Europe and I want to travel around and I want to see places and I'm seeing everybody doing their Europe trips and I'm just here trying to like get my life <laughs> together with like moving and stuff since I transferred. If it wasn't for transferring and moving into a new house and all that, I would have tried to plan a trip, but I didn't even bother because there was so much going on that I'm just like, let me not do the absolute most right now. Europe's not going anywhere. Like I have citizenship. It's fine. It's, it doesn't even matter, but it'll come soon. That is on my list of things that I want to do this year. It's a lot of planning, but it's going to happen. Everything has its course and I can't do everything all at the same time. I have to remind myself that there was this TikTok that this girl posted and it was like trying to pick which lifestyle I want because I can't have them all. Like living in Hawaii versus living in some place in New York versus settling down in the hometown and doing this and that. And I'm like, girl, it's like I see all these things, people adventuring and I'm just like, that looks so fun. And then I'll see people doing this and I'm like, oh, that looks so fun. Like I want to do that. It's just, I want to do it all. But I have to remind myself that all in its time, you can't do everything. So just prioritize what you really think is going to be good. That's enough chatter. I should probably stop talking and get more to getting things done. Hey guys, it's 12.52 right now. We just got some Starbucks. I was getting very hangry because I was starving. I got sausage, egg, and cheese, and then Logan got the spinach wrap, and then I got the white macadamia. But look, yeah, I feel like they made it a little sweet. I got the white macadamia. No, but this, oh. <laughs> I got the white mocha, and he got the white macadamia. Cold brew. It's kind of sweet. I wish it wasn't so sweet right now. But we are going to head to the Yellow Green Market again because my bracelet wasn't completely welded. So I have to go get that fixed because I don't even want there to be a chance that it breaks. And she said that she'll like do it for free and fix it up and all that fun stuff. Okay, we're gonna go finish eating and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I finally got the bracelet fixed. Now we're heading home and I think Logan's gonna go do something with my dad. And then I'm gonna do Madison's mom's nails at like 4.30 and it's already 1.40. So I think I might just get everything prepped to do some homework, do her nails, and then I don't know what I'll be doing after that. The nails were super last minute, but I realized that I didn't have anything planned. And so I was like, you know what? Let me just do it for her because she was really desperate to get her nails done. Okay, so if you guys watched my last vlog, you know that Logan bought these scratch off date night ideas and we were thinking about doing one tonight. So we have this one and it says one to two hours materials house and we're just gonna be chilling at home. So it's time to make a bucket list. Have some fun with this by first creating your own list and then sharing it with your partner. That's so random. <laughs> one to two hours? 15 minutes. <laughs> two tops. Okay, so we're gonna go get to that, I guess. I was expecting something more active, more well, there's one DIY. Okay, hey, so we decided that we're gonna go on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist right now, and we're gonna pick a few things that we like for the new place, just for inspo, and then we're gonna show each other what we found, so. <laughs> mm. <laughs> a penis. 
fine. That's not really. That doesn't seem like that's for that. Was like that. Mm. <laughs> it looks like they're selling the. Ch oh, king. Good morning, guys. So we are off to go try out this new coffee place down the street. And I actually know the girl whose dad owns the place. And from outside, it looked kind of blah, but then I looked it up and it looks really cute inside. They have croissants and I'm really craving. So hopefully it's good because I could use some coffee today because I work. So hopefully it gets my energy boosted, but we'll see. This is so delish. Mm. I love this. They said that the other one that's really good is like a chai vanilla something. So we might go and order that. But this is so good. Okay, we ended up ordering more. <laughs> so we ended up going back for some more food to try. We got an empanada and then I went and got like a vanilla chai double shot of espresso thing and it is so delish. I think this is our new spot. And then Logan had this really good avocado toast that I... I think it's the best one I've had. I'm so full now, but I'm just here with Logan. Logan's trying to do some online shopping, which is really dangerous. So last night when I wanted to go to sleep, I was like, oh, like, let me put on a show on Netflix and just go to sleep to it. And I put on Selling Sunset. I literally could not stop watching it. Like I could not close my eyes. So I think I might put that on actually. I should probably get some things done. I'll relax a little bit. I'm probably gonna leave her at like 4.30 and it's one, so I have three hours and then I'll get ready. I feel like I haven't been doing any summer e activities. Like I miss going to the beach. I'm gonna go try to be productive.